Hi, it's Alan here once again. Uh, yeah, I'm having a walk down towards town once again, and I just hope everybody's okay. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Mr. Boris Johnson has therefore announced that there may be shortages up to Christmas. Yeah. Uh, he has basically turned round and said that. So, it's like what I said, ain't it? Buy what you can. And what you should basically do now is buy what you can. And if it's, if you can put it in your freezer, put it in your freezer and leave it there. Keep it, keep it in its packaging and everything. Yeah. And make sure you've got you've got uh, ample stuff in there. Make sure it's secure. Make sure nobody knows what you've got in there. Uh, also, the septic tank thing I, I told you about before. Go to your building suppliers. Get what? Get one, two, three, or more. Put it in your garden. Bury it under your garden. Don't tell anybody what you've got there. And just do that. Um, things are going slightly south. Yeah, it is getting rather bad. If you can, if you can, and if you and if you can do this next thing, is right. If you can do this, buy a cash box with a safe, also a safe, and. Just remove funds from your account. And put them in a put them in a in a cash box. Hello, what we got here? A truck gone path, a white van truck. And uh, to that, I've been hearing that um, safes have been selling quite uh, quite a lot, sort of cash boxes. Join the crowd. Get a cash box. Take some, if you can, with, withdraw a fair, fair bit of your money so you've got money to hand and put it in your cash box. Because the way things are going and I'll be, and I'll be 
great we are. We are the tr you know, and give you the truth about things. Things aren't good. If you have a van, if you have a van, just don't shop at one place. Do multiple places. Because a lot of places will put limits on what you can purchase. So be ready for that. You'll have to do multiple, multiple, multiple places. Also, fuel. Be extremely careful of the E10 because only certain vehicles can take that. Find out if yours can take it. Fuel, fuel additives. The, the other thing was fuel additives with E10. Don't go there because it's just a bad. It's just a bad experience with that. If you can, if you can buy a generator. Yeah, buy a generator and hide it. If you can get an electric generator, an electric one, right? And you say, what good start? Well, it's pretty good, really. Because, you know, you can generate a fair bit of power. Solar panels. Some people were laughing at me when I mentioned this. Right, you don't need in some cases a lot of sun to get electric from some solar panels. You just need, in some cases, you just need daylight. Also, you can get what well, you can get these tubes now they're filled, filled with antifreeze ethylene glycol it's called and what you can do with that you can use that as a coolant hello they're doing some work at last We'll just have a look, see what they're doing. No, get it done. We'll have a walk up. It's all right. No worries. I'm used to working on building sites. Someone's... <laughs> He won't be able to thing. It's all right. You know, what are you putting in? No, it needs an high voltage cable, does that? Let's have a look. No, I'm just having, having a look. I just tell the guys that, uh, that, uh,
gonna have to track it back over now. in a bad place really because it's on this part of the thing they could have put it further up to be truthful guys three um, three put it in the wrong spot it should have been further up reason why I say that is because this road here is too far, too open because if a vehicle comes from that way right comes along comes across the road smashes through smashes through this area here it'll just take the whole thing out This is why the this is why the sighting of this is in the wrong place. So that you know, when traffic comes up, if anything were to you know anything big comes up that road, like Wally Old, Wally New, this would be an easy target.